the idea of using seaweed is of course not new. We are, or we as human, human beings, we are growing seaweed for centuries. Um, however, if you want to use seaweed as a biomass, so you can use it to create energy out of it, that's quite new. To create energy from seaweed, you have two parts in the equation. One part is the growing and cultivation of seaweed, as I just discussed. But on the other hand, you need to transform that into energy. And one of the ways to do that is to use a digester. Now, traditional digesters are not, uh, let's say, um, good for using seaweed. We designed the digestion technology and we have taken apart the different stages in, in, in digesting and we have added a pre-treatment. And by doing that, we can actually create out of the same amount of biomass compared to a traditional digester, we create much more biogas. We're dealing with a natural process which is called photosynthesis. So if we talk in Indonesia, then we have much more sun available, hence we can, the seaweed can, can grow not only fast, but can um, uh, transform the CO2 much in, in much more uh, carbon. In Indonesia, we can grow 800 tons of seaweed per hectare. Uh -huh. Now, um, one ton of uh, seaweed can produce 200 uh, cubic meter of gas. Seaweed it has a lot of benefits and the funny thing is the moment we started actually with the, the energy question but all our journey we see that seaweed has so many uh, valuable uh, applications which have actually much more value even than energy. Uh, that's amazing. Um, for food what you just said cosmetics but also medicines. There are elements in, in seaweed that have been proven to have uh, very good results on the immune systems. Um, then for food, for, for, for human food, seaweed is extremely well. You have already the wakame cellus, for instance, uh, but you also have proteins, plant-based proteins. Well, we all know what we need to change uh, in the world uh, on, on the protein side. So seaweed could be an extremely well uh, source for that. Well the great thing if you talk about something like that, once you extract proteins first from seaweed, you still have enough seaweed to produce energy of it. 